And you'll note they have got a lot of dogs, so they are allowed to run a reserve if in the first run it doesn't the go The teams well. for the semi-finals, the pack, which is from Packington, just up the road from here against Wellingborough. The second semi-final is Northampton Dogmatics against Nottingham Flyers. As we look at the arena now, in the light blue on the far side, furthest away from the camera, we have the pack. Nearest to the camera in red, we have the team from Wellingborough. First dogs on, this is a relay race. The dogs, as you see, have to charge out over the hurdles. Touch the box, fly the ball, catch it, and come back. The fastest team to complete wins. Best of three runs to decide. At the moment, Wellingborough comfortably in the lead. They've two dogs completed, and only two dogs completed now on the far side as the fourth and final dog goes for Wellingborough. Coming back over, it's clear, simple win for Wellingborough in the first run. As I've said, best of three. This is how the ball is thrown into the air and caught. The dog touches a pad, the ball comes into the air, hence the name fly ball. So Wellingborough are leading 1-0. Best of three to decide this first semi-final. Are you ready, Ambrose? Dogs ready on the line, and a good start this time by the pack. But I've got a sneaky feeling Wellingborough are the quicker team. But the pack at the moment have the lead. Good changeover by both teams. Good catch from both teams. It's neck and neck. This is tight, the pack have got the lead. They need to win this to stay in this semi-final. The pack are still in the lead. That's their third dog, fourth dog's going, and the pack have got it. Can they hang on? Oh, it's a bad one, it's a bad one, it's gone out. And Wellingborough pulled through, that's it. Very straightforward, 2-0. Wellingborough win, whilst the dog there for the pack just finishes the last run out catches the ball this time and comes back. So they complete, but it's Wellingborough who will be going through to the final. So for the second of the semi-finals now, on the far side we have Northampton Dogmatics, actually called Northampton Dogmatics. Nearest to the camera we have the Nottingham Flyers, all Midlands teams in these semi-finals. Northampton versus Nottingham. Northampton on the far side and here we go, first of three runs. Both quite gently out to start and it's neck and neck. Great changeover, both clean. Good pick up there, and Northampton have gone into the lead. Northampton are ahead. Oh, and knocking the hurdle over. Now that'll have to be replaced. They can't complete the run with that down. So it looks as though Northampton are going to win this quite easily. There they go. They've taken the first leg. So Northampton's lead. That was very unfortunate for the Nottingham team. They were going rather well. They've got a little uh, working cocker spaniel there that's very excitable charging around in the team and knocked everything over now i think he's being dropped for this next run and they're bringing in one of their reserves which looks like a border collie i think so so here we go the second run north hands on the far side nottingham on the near side and the poor start by north hands and they trail at this moment but not by much good change over this time that's excellent nottingham can they pull it back they need to Nottingham must win this to stay in it to make a real race for it, but Northampton have gone ahead. It's a good catch by them. Northampton are leading. This is their last dog. Last dog for both teams, but it's definitely going to be Northampton. It was a clean finish. They've won it again. 2 0. Northampton's Flyers, the Northampton's Dogmatics, I beg your pardon, go through over the Nottingham Flyers. You can see the sleekness of these dogs racing through excellent stuff. So that's our final. We know who are now going to fight it out. It's going to be Wellingborough versus Northampton.
So here we are, ready now for the third and fourth place runoff from the pack against Nottingham. Two losing semi finalists fighting it out for third, fourth place. And I'm sleeping, that was a false start. The whistle went and it was a bit edgy, but we'll see whether the markers get put over. They have been. And Nottingham Flyers are in the lead. The pack trading by a good run out, a whole length there. Both these teams a little bit slower. There goes that little cocker again. He's doing ever so well. That's the third dog for Nottingham. Lovely run out. He's being caught. It's slow, but they've just brought him out for the run, I think. Well, this is good. Last dog's in each. First one back is going to win it. And it does look as though Nottingham's won it. Nottingham taking the first leg there, but it was close. The pack, the local team, they're from uh, just down the road, about uh, half a dozen miles from us here at the NEC. Lovely little cocker, look at that, a working cocker. It wouldn't win much for points in the breed ring. But here we go with the second heat. And again in this, it's important here that the pack can pull one back, otherwise they're relegated to fourth place. It's neck and neck after one dog. And at the moment, Nottingham are still leading, but it is close. Dead heat, dead heat. They dropped the cocker from this one, it's the uh, Border Collies going again. And it's now the pack who've taken the lead, so if they can hold on to this, that's a good catch. Yes, they are going to make it, the pack have levelled it. This is more like a contest, 1-1. One, one. Quiet out there, isn't it? This is good fun. Wonderful teamwork. Either team can win, third and fourth place we're looking for. Who's going to take third? The pack on the far side, Nottingham on the near side. And away they go. Run out neck and neck again, and coming back just Nottingham, just ahead. This is very close. And the pack have taken the lead. The pack are out in front by about two yards. Oh, it's a great jump. Oh, and Nottingham have missed it. If they get a clean run here from the pack with the last dog, it's a good catch. Over the hurdles, it's made it. The pack have done it. The pack take third. They win it 2-1. So third place, the pack from Packington. In fourth place, the Nottingham Flyers. Great contest for third and fourth place. Look at that lovely jump, but what a shame. Push the ball away, and the pack win it clearly. The two top teams at Cross 2002. They come through all the heats where the two teams are competing. They'll be through the quarter final and the semi final and they'll be going to the final. Oh, the final. And I think there might be a little bit of a rivalry here between the very close Northampton and the Relic Brewer. You will know that they are very, very close. So here we go with the grand final. We have Wellingborough in the red on the far side. We have the North Ants Dogmatics in the sort of purpley colour on the near side. It should be very tight. These two very close rivals, only about 10 miles between Wellingborough and Northampton. So they are absolutely in a local derby here at the NEC. Fabulous stuff, here they go. The first of three runs in the final. And at the moment, yes, it's Northampton in the lead. Very fast run out by both second dogs. Northampton, the catch is all important. Still, Northampton are in the lead. Wellingborough going well, but not fast enough as yet. They've opened out quite a good spread here. If they can just get a good catch, and it is, Northampton are going to win the first one. 1-0 one to Northampton. Northampton Flyers in the lead. So they're straight on with the next. They don't hang about these handlers. Straight up with the next dogs. Same teams going. 
second run. Bellingham must win this to stay in this final. Great rivalry, very local. Wellingborough, a very new team. Good start, good jump out, but again, Northampton just pulled the edge. Northampton with the edge, Wellingborough dropped the ball, catching up, but now it's a whole run out length. So, unless Northampton make a mistake, and they are a very accurate team, I've got to say. Yeah, another mistake over there by Wellingborough. So, Northampton got it, last dog coming through. This is it, that's the winning run. Northants, the Northants Flyers take the prize. They win the fly ball here at Crofts 2002 by two Five legs to nil two over two Wellingborough. A great final. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll just clear the arena and it'll be presentation time. So Peter Groves of Pedigree presents the prize to the victorious Northants team, the Northants Dogmatics. Great triumph for them over their local rivals. Second place, the runners up with a team from Wellingborough. Well, it's that part of the programme, folks, where it's all about action, and we've got the final for the Crocs team agility coming up next.